Here's a question. Uh, will U.S. society and its economy Thanks. be uh, reformed without direct action, militants, and revolution? Well, you know, talk about, one should think through these things carefully. Let's, let's think about a revolution. I mean, if a revolution is going to be at all constructive, you know, not just establish some horrible dictatorship worse than you happened, there's only one way it can come about. That's if a large mass of the population, in fact, the large majority, come to recognize that changes that they want cannot be instituted within the framework of existing institutions. That means that if you're a real dedicated revolutionary, you're a reformist. There's no conflict between reform and revolution. What you want to do is press the institutions as far as possible to yield to just popular demands. And if the population comes to recognize, look, it can't be done anymore, okay, then you can talk about a revolution, uh, but not before. And if you look at people who are really interested in revolutions, like Karl Marx, they, they press this all the time. In fact, he even believed that uh, in the uh, in England, you know, country that the most the freest country of his day, parliamentary system in England, the United States, might be possible to establish a communist revolution without any violence at all, uh, just by pressing forward within the framework of the institutions that they have. Well, maybe so, maybe not, but uh, that's the criterion. So I think, uh, just again endorse what Juan and Amy said, you have to try in every possible way to bring the, uh, the, the changes, bring about the changes that we think ought to be made uh, by means that are available. And going back to Occupy, I agree with Amy, it was a tremendous achievement, but there's a gap. Uh, the 99% have to participate, uh, and that hasn't been achieved. And that's pretty important. It's good, it's good to bring it to public attention, put it on the national agenda, get people to think about it, but that's only the first step. The next step is to engage the 99%, and that's a hard task, just as it has been with every popular movement. And you have to remember, if you look at the history of popular movements, they have had successes. I mean, it was a much freer, juster country than it was not that long ago. But it's always partial successes. 